here we will see about the principles of green chemistry and uh, who has worked and what are the different types of uh, things that we need to look into uh, green chemistry. The word green chemistry was termed by Professor Paul Anastas who has worked a lot in bringing out this green chemistry and so rightly he has been uh, known as father of green chemistry. The green chemistry aims to eliminate or at least reduce the pollution by preventing it from happening as far as possible. In this green chemistry, we aim or we uh, change the processes in such a way that they either eliminate or they at least reduce the pollutions uh, that are being happening. So that uh, there will be uh, changes in the chemical reactions, chemical processes are desired uh, according to the green chemistry principles. The goal of green chemistry is to design synthetic methodologies that reduce or eliminate the use of uh, or generation of toxic products, byproducts, solvents and all other associated products. We have the 12 principles such a way that first principle states that uh, prevention of waste, the waste should be prevented as far as possible. Second principle uh, talks about atom economy that is maximum amount of reactant must be incorporated into the product. Third uh, principle states the non-toxic products. Products should be uh, such a way that they are non-toxic. The products that we are uh, manufacturing, those products must be non-toxic products. Fourth principle is that it should be uh, retaining its functional efficiency. Functional efficiency, uska jo kaam hai, wo kaam barabar se hona chahiye, usko barabar rakhte huye hume products banane. ऐसा नहीं है कि नॉन टॉक्सिक प्रोडक्ट बनाने के चक्कर में हमने ऐसे प्रोडक्ट्स बना दिए जो हमारे काम के ही ना हो सो so, वो भी हमारा अनडिजायरेबल हो जाएगा क्योंकि वो वेस्ट बहुत ज्यादा होगा क्रिएट होगा फिफ्थ प्रिंसिपल इज अवॉइड सेपरेशन टेक्निक्स सेपरेशन टेक्निक्स जितने हो सके उतने कम होने चाहिए ताकि हमारा वेस्ट वहां पर कम होता है सो सेपरेशन जब भी हम करते हैं तो सॉल्वेंट्स हमारा ज्यादा यूज होता है इसीलिए यहां पे डिजायरेबल है कि वी यूज सॉलिड फेज रिएक्शंस रादर देन solution phase reaction. Sixth principle talks about minimum energy requirements. Jitna kam energy require hoga, jitna kam energy kharj hoga, utna hi temperature kam hoga aur utna hi humara economically viable bhi hoga. Kyunki zyada energy use ho rahi hai means zyada kharcha ho raha hai. Seventh principle talks about starting materials from renewable uh, sources. Like in the adipic acid we have used glucose instead of benzene. Then uh, eighth principle says that there should be no derivatizations, unnecessary derivatizations हमें रोकने चाहिए, protection, protection, deprotection steps या blocking steps या temporary modification steps यहाँ पे नहीं हो उतना बेहतर है. Ninth principle says the use of catalyst is desirable over the stoichiometric reagent. So catalyst जहाँ तक हो सके वहाँ तक use करें, then that will be uh, good for environment also. Tenth principle says about the biodegradable products. जो products हम यहाँ पे बना रहे हैं वो प्रोडक्ट्स हमारे बायोडिग्रेडेबल होने चाहिए उसका फंक्शन खत्म होने के बाद में उसको हम एनवायरमेंट में इजीली दे देना चाहिए इजीली डिग्रेड हो जाने चाहिए ज्यादा समय तक वहां पे एनवायरमेंट में रहने नहीं चाहिए दैट इज 10th प्रिंसिपल 11th प्रिंसिपल इज स्ट्रेंथनिंग ऑफ एनालिटिकल टेक्निक्स हमें एनालिटिकल टेक्निक्स को फर्दर मॉडिफाई करना है फर्दर एडवांस करना है जिसकी वजह से कि जब भी रिएक्शन हम कर रहे हैं तो रियल टाइम में हम उसका मॉनिटरिंग कर सके और uh, उसको uh, easily रोक सके, control कर सके, जब भी uh, accident होना हो, तो उससे पहले या फिर undesirable products बन रहा हो, तो हम easily उसको avoid कर सके. Twelfth uh, principle talks about avoiding chemical accidents. Always chemical accidents are very uh, harmful, so they should be avoided as far as possible. So these are the twelve principles of green chemistry. Thank you, thank you very much.